Washington. Tonight, Florida Senator Marco Rubio says there is no comparison between deadly storms of the past and Hurricane Ian. Now, later this week, President Biden is expected to visit some of the hardest hit areas. This evening, search and rescue teams continue to look for survivors and the death toll. It's approaching 80 and expected to keep climbing. Right now, cleanup crews in Fort Myers are removing debris on the long road to recovery following Hurricane Ian. More than 800,000 customers in Florida are still without power. Today, emergency rescue crews still going door to door looking for survivors. While we certainly hope that we can continue to find more people alive and bring them out, uh, we're going to support the state and their needs as we continue to go house by house um, and make sure that everybody's accounted for. We have trained specialists for any kind of emergency we run into at this point, and we're just trying to help as best as we can. Meanwhile, Fort Myers Beach, one of the hardest hit areas in the state, will be closed for the next week for the safety of the emergency crews there. We already have uh, electricity slowly returning as well as water service. Uh, we have crews that are working uh, 16 hours a day. More than 70 people in Florida were killed by Ian, and the damage across the state still has many residents speechless. President Joe Biden and the First Lady will travel to Florida on Wednesday to survey the damage, but not before they tour Puerto Rico on Monday, still reeling from Hurricane Fiona. We owe Puerto Rico a hell of a lot more than they've already gotten. My administration is working closely with the CBC members to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, to help search and rescue, recovery, and rebuilding. Again, the president not only traveling to Florida this week, but he will also head to Puerto Rico before that to take a closer look at the damage left behind there by Hurricane Fiona.